Welcome, ladies and gentlemen and sports fans of all ages. Here we are on a Monday night at McVeigh Stadium. All set for junior high action. The Beaver Dusters will take on the visiting Buffalo Bison. There's the whistle. We should be about ready for the coin toss any moment. Those of you that missed the fifth, fifth and sixth grade game, it was a pretty exciting one as our fifth and sixth grade team beat Buffalo this evening. We'll hope for a double win night as, as our junior high boys get set for action. Here comes the officials. We ought to be about ready for a coin toss. Number five, Caden Keibel, and 55, Remington Kane, headed out to center field to meet the, meet the bison for the coin toss. Looks like that may very well have been a phone toss. Screen side is heads and the back of the phone is tails. The bison will be kicking to this. No, they will be receiving. <laughs> the bison will be receiving. And the Dusters will be kicking from the south end zone. I thought for a second they might have elected to defer. But it looks instead like they went ahead and wanted the ball. So we will be kicking off. Duster kickoff team is on the field. It's like 35. Joel Ruiz will be handling the kickoff duties this evening for the Dusters. And we're all set. The kick is away. It's picked up by the up back and met right at the 45 yard line by Remington Kane. Starts the evening with the tackle. Cooper Yemens was also right there. Bird dogging the ball pretty well.
Single back set, wide out to the right. Quarterback's under center. There's the ball's on the ground, and he's going to go ahead and fall on it. That'll bring up second down and 10 for the Bison. Fell forward, but basically no gain on the play. Great pressure by the defensive line. Keep that center on edge. They didn't get that exchange taken care of efficiently. Quarterback under center, single back set, wide out to the left. We're going to hand it off, try up the middle. Nice job reaching out and getting that tackle by Remington Kane. We do have a flag on the field, holding on the offense. We're going to back him up. That'll keep second down, and it'll be second down and 15. Oh, how about second down and 20? Bison are on the line. Their play's dialed in. Single back set, wide out to the right, quarterback under center, and he's going to roll to the near side of the field. He's met by number 35. That is Joel Ruiz to drive him out of bounds. Pick up 13 yards, but they are still battling. Oh, how about 10 yards? So they're still battling third down and 10. Offensive penalties made that an extra long drive. Duster defense is dialed in. Try the handoff to the far side. Cuts back inside the field. He's got room to run. We're not going to be able to chase him down. And he's headed for the end zone. Bice got a wide out to the right, single back set, quarterback under center as they try for the extra point. The ball goes to the ground. They have to fall on it. Extra point, no good. So now the Bison will kick off. I do believe, contrary to what the scoreboard says, I believe this is the second quarter. Maybe not. Duster's Trails. Six to nothing with 7.02 left to go here in the first. Here comes the Bison kickoff team. The kick's away. Right to the up back. That is Ruiz. Looking for running room. He gets up there to about the 40 before he stopped. A 
Look at a first down and 10 for the Dusters. Let's see what we can get moving here. Dusters in the eye back formation. Oh, the ball gets to the ground. That's going to bottle up Kane, and it'll be for a loss. Second down and 16. Here come the Dusters. Pitches it out. Oh, too much penetration by the defensive line, and they're going to tackle Kenny, I think. Back behind the line yet again. Looks like third down and about 17 for the Dusters. Twins to the left. Shotgun formation. Kenny goes in motion. Oh, Yemens is brought down. I thought he could get away, but he is tackled from behind. We're looking at fourth down and maybe 18 for the Dusters. Yeemans gets the punt away. 12 bobbles it back there. Gives time. Oh, Chalkley just misses him. Here comes that duster defense. Look, they got a wide out to the left, single back set, quarterback center center. Tried up the middle, and he's immediately shut down by 55 Kane. Third down and five. Come the Bison, split out to the left. They're going to try to hand it off up the middle. He keeps his feet driving. We'll see where the spot is, and that's going to be enough for a Bison first and ten. Three ten left to go here in the first. We got trailing six to nothing behind the Bison.
Duster defense looking for a stop here. We got a timeout called on the field by the Bison. How about the Beaver Junior High cheerleaders? Here to fire up the stands. Keep the home team cheering. All right, Duster defense, let's make a stand here. First and 10. From the 24 yard line. And there's some great penetration by Chuckley. Sack behind the line. That a boy. Again, and the ball goes loose. The Bison are able to recover it. Chockley with some more great penetration, great wrap up and tackle. And as that guy was going to the ground, the ball went wild. Bison able to recover. Playing so hard, he come right out of his shoes, folks. That's hustle right there. Looking at about third down and 16 for the Bison. We got a minute 47 left to go here in the first. Third down. <clears throat> Twins to the right, wide out to the left, single back set, shotgun formation, sends 12 in motion, and he's going to have a quarterback keeper right there up the middle. He's going to be shut down, though, by the old Duster defense. 35's there to make a stick and bring him down. That's none other than Joel Ruiz. Great effort by the defense, getting that defensive stop there. We're looking at fourth down and a long nine here. Twins to the left. Single wide out to the right, shotgun formation. 12 goes in motion. That's going to be a false start on the offense. That'll move them back. That makes it fourth and 14 for the Bison. Maybe closer to 16. It's a long fourth down. We'll see what the Bison bring out. 43 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. This set of downs has been a great defensive play by the Dusters. Finish strong here. The ball goes loose again. That Duster defense has just got some pressure on them. 
making things happen. Mental mistakes happening by the Bison. Great job by the defense. Turnover on downs. Good for a duster. First down and 10. We'll get the ball on the 29-yard line. Not much time ran off the clock because we got 40 seconds left till time expires in the first. Yemen's in with the play. Kybel out wide to the left. Looks like Kenny's headed out to the right. Single back set. Shotgun formation. Little miscommunication there, and that's going to be a sack. I think they were trying to run two different plays, folks, and that just did not work out. Second down and long for the Dusters. Coach is letting time expire here in the first. That way he'll have a little more time to visit with his boys. As we get the short break between quarters, get them some water, get them focused, get them all back on the same page, and we'll be right back. All right, folks, here we're coming back for some second quarter action. The Dusters are second down and long. Had some miscommunication on first down, and it's going to lead to a long second down. A little bit of a hole to come out of, but nothing our boys aren't capable of. Here comes the Dusters. Looks like we got twins right, single back set, shotgun formation. Here we go. Oh, the ball goes on the ground. I think it was an incomplete pass. Let's see what the ruling is on the field. Hmm. 
Third down and long. Duster ball. Here comes Yemens with the play. I apologize for that press box shadow, folks. That makes watching this game on the stream a little rough. Here we go. Shotgun snap. Passes it out to the right. Le left. Kennedy Kenny picks up a few yards before he's brought down. And that'll be fourth down and 20. Seven twenty-eight left to go in the second. Duster's trail, six to nothing. Yemens gets the punt away. You got a nice bounce and roll. It's going to be stopped shy of the 40-yard line. So that'll be on the 39-yard line. And the bison will take over there. That is in Duster territory. Ball goes to the ground. They're able to somehow pick it up. Got it to another do And then they're tackled behind the line. That is second down. About 12 to go here. Ball goes to the ground again, and Chalkley's there to get the sack. Great penetration. Way to read that play and see that that quarterback is struggling and take him on down. Looks like third down and about 14 here for the Bison. Another great stop by the defense. I tell you, that defensive pressure is worth a lot, folks, as it's a really making the Bison struggle here. Fourth down and 16 to go. We'll see what the Bison decide to do. Five twenty-four left to go in this half. In the half, twins to the right. The ball's on the ground, and I think Chalkley's going to come away with that one. Turnover on downs or fumble recovery. Either way you look at it, it's Duster football. Dusters will have it just past the 45-yard line here. Here comes Yemens with the play.
Okay, we'll split out wide to the left. Kennedy's headed that way too. Kane and Yemen's in the backfield. Yemen's safe to take the shotgun snap. Kane goes in motion to the far side. Drop back. To st oh, man, just over the hands of Chalkley. He was open, folks. That'll bring up second down and 10 for the Dusters. Here come the Dusters. Twins left. Kybel and Kenny. Looks for Kane in the flats. Uh, catches it on a knee, so that'll actually be a reception for a loss. Brings up third down and 14 for the Dusters. Kennedy out to the right. Kybel out to the left. Single back set. Shotgun formation. Man in motion. It's going to be handed off to Kenny. He's going to try the far side. He does make a small gain. He picks up about three yards. But that still puts us at fourth and 11. <sighs> Fourth and eleven, it's risky. We got two thirty three left to go in the first half. Twins to the left. Oh, no, that's going to be Kenny as a false start. And that's going to back him up. Coach Bowman is not happy. Two twenty-five here to go in the first half. Two more quarters to play after that. Duster's trailing six to nothing. Lots of time. Just a few mental mistakes, keeping the Dusters from a lot more success today. Just looking for them to get into a rhythm, and then we will be all set. Does look appear to have the punting team on the ground. Yemens gets it away. Does bounce into Kane as it hits the ground. But he's able to get on top of it, gets it covered up. That'll be bison football. First and ten from the Duster, 48. Bison's come out, a mm, little confusion. Looks like twins to the left, single split out to the right, empty backfield, shotgun formation. 
Sends 12 in motion to the near side, and Chalkley meets him in the backfield. That's a tackle for a loss. Chalkley's had some great defensive plays as of late here in the second quarter. Ball's on the ground. Quarterback keeper and Chalkley fan is not fooled. Another sack for a loss by number 88, Trevor Chalkley. That puts the Bison in a long third down situation. Like third and 20. So we'll see what the Bison come out here and try to get moving. Oh, the ball's on the ground. That's not going to work out very well as 12 could not keep a hold of it. He is able to recover his own fumble. But that will be... Turnover on downs. Uh, now it was third and 20, so now it'll be fourth. And even longer. Thirty-nine seconds to go. Just not quite forty seconds to go here in this second quarter. If you'll remember right, in the fifth and sixth grade game, Coach Bowman was faced with a similar situation. Stop him here, and then look to score. Here comes both teams. That ball's on the 37 yard line. They gotta make it all the way down to the Duster 37 for a first down. They are in a punt formation here. There it goes. Punts away, it gets behind Kenny, but it is a duster bounce. He's got some room to run and he's gonna be forced out of bounds at about the 35 yard line. That official spot is just shy of the 35. First down and 10 for the Dusters. Here come the Dusters. Two back set, oh, excuse me. Twins to the right, single back set, shotgun formation. There's a the snap, drops back to pass, finds Kane. Kane's got room to run. He makes it. He is pushed out of bounds right there at the 49. That is enough for a Dusters first down and 10.
We'll see what Coach Bowman calls here in this first down situation. He's got twins to the left. Kane's a single back set, shotgun formation. Yemens calls a snap, steps back to pass, tries the same play to Kane on the other side. That's going to be good for about four yards before he's brought down by the Bison. Tell you one thing, these these Bester kids, they do not give up. Their hearts playing hard. They are all over this field. Looking for that W. Got a timeout on the field. Sixteen seconds left to go here in the half. There are one or two plays left to get it done. Here come the Dusters. Broke that huddle with some excitement and intensity. That's what it takes to go ahead and get one in the end zone before half. Hopefully they can get it done. Kenny out to the, oh, we got twins out here to the right. Moves Kane in motion. Drops back to pass. Goes for Chockley in the middle of the field and he catches it. And he's going to go down. Takes three bison to tackle him. It's right at the 35-yard line. Trying to get that ball set so they can keep this thing going. Quarterback snaps, gets it to Kane. Kane's got room to run. He lowers his shoulders, and he drives right through. Makes it down to the 28 as time expires in the second. Still a great drive right there. We had a nice defensive hold to finish the half. And we had some very positive plays on offense. Maybe Coach could take that to the locker room and use it to motivate these boys to keep that drive alive. Got a six-minute half. We'll be right back. Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. It's no secret Pioneer Cellular cares about the students of our communities. 
because we're in your communities with more retail locations than any other carrier in Western Oklahoma. It's no secret that we provide opportunities for students to learn remotely with distance learning plans and MiFi devices. We also help these schools live stream their games so family members across the country don't miss the action. We sponsor schools and colleges because your children deserve the best. Pioneer Cellular. It's no secret. Stream is Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at scordle.com slash stream. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal is to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horse, and we are here to help. time for your school or business to purchase a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros and sports training... <laughs> Welcome back, Destination. The Duster should be receiving the ball this half as we did uh, start the game in the kickoff team. And that's what we have here. We've got the Buffalo Bison set to kick off. Back deep to receive for the Dusters would be Kane and Kenny. Up backs, Yemens and Ruiz. And here's the kick. Oh, they try the onside kick. The number five is right there to pounce on it. Dusters will start first down from the 47 yard line. Oh. 
Here we go. Twins out to the right. Single back set. Shotgun formation. Looks to pass. He decides to roll. Oh, man. Thought he was getting ready to break free, folks, but he was caught. Ends up a little bit behind the line of scrimmage. Second down and 15 for the Dusters. Drops back to pass, and he is covered up. That'll be another sack for a loss. Just couldn't quite find the receiver he wanted downfield. Here we go, third down and long. Let's see what Coach Bowman sends in. It could be the magic play. It's like twins right, single back set, shotgun formation. He's gonna send Kenny in motion. It's handed off to Kenny. He's got Kane lead blocking for him, but Number 10 of the defense just gets penetration and stops the play from progressing. Punt team's on the field. Yemen's to handle the punting duties. That ball is tipped by somebody. Chocolate's going to get down there to spot it. The Bison 49 and a half yard line. So, 529 left to go in the third. Duster's trail six to nothing. And it will be the Bison's first possession of the half, first offensive possession of the half. That'll be a false start number five for the Bison. Got a little too eager to run his route and it gets him caught. First down and 15 for the Bison after the false start penalty. Ball goes to the ground and Remington Kane is right there to stop the action as he tackles number 15 who picks up the fumble. That's tackle for a slight loss and it'll be Second down and 16. Wide out here to the right. Ball goes to the ground. Oh, Kane was almost there, but instead we've got Chockley picking him up on the far side, taking him down for a slight gain. It's still third and 14, so still great defensive effort on this drive. Third and 14, got to play smart. 
They're definitely playing aggressive. Now we just have to make sure that we don't get caught. 12 goes in motion. Hands it off to 12, and Chalkley is there yet again. Takes him down for a loss. That is fourth down and long for the Bison. Buffalo will take a timeout there. 3.59 here to go in the third. Great defensive series by the Dusters. Bison are already on the field and ready to go. Dusters break the huddle and they head to the field. Wide out to each side, single back set, shotgun formation. Oh, and they punt. I didn't look at the punter. Got a flag on the field. Coach Bowman was certainly excited. I didn't see what all the fuss was about. Dusters take over here. First down and 10 from the 42. Kyle and Kenny be split out wide to the right. Kane's in the backfield. Kenny's in motion, hands it off to Kenny, but the defense is there. That'll bring up second down and 13 for the Dusters. Here comes Kenny to try the same play again and he cuts it up this time. He's got some room to run. Oh, he brushes off number 12. He's at the 15 and the 10, and he goes down about the 8. What a run, getting out past the seam and finding a way to get downfield. Way to read the defense. Got some great blocks. Oh, no, we got a flag on the play back here at the 43. And it's all for naught. Ten-yard penalty, holding on the offense. Here come the Dusters. Kane's a single back in the backfield. Kybel and Kenny out to the right. 
Yemen set to take the shotgun snap. Kenny goes in motion. Drops back. Oh, and it's battered away by number 30. Nice idea. It was a good look. 30 just saw it coming. Third down and long. Dusters need some positive yards here. Kybel and Kenny out to the right. Kenny comes in motion. Yemens drops back. Screen pass to Kane and he can't hang on. Sun hit him in the eyes. 30 had his hands in the air. That was a tough catch to reel in. So we're looking at fourth down. Eighteen here, fourth down and eighteen for the Dusters. Kenny comes in motion, looks to pass, he's chocolate and oh! He has it, but can't keep a hold. It's too exciting, folks. My bad. I did not get the camera moved. He had it, and then he didn't. Man, what an effort. Great call. He was wide open downfield. Tough break for the Dusters. 255 here to go in the third. We'll turn it over on downs. Here come the Bison. Quarterback under center, wide out to the left, single back set. Chocolate's there, sucks him behind the line. Had some nice assistance by 74. I do not have that number on my program. Great job by the defensive line, making a stop. Negative yards for the offense. Playing hard. Two twenty here to go in the third. Still trailing, six to nothing. Twins to the left, single wide out to the right. Man in motion. He's going to hand it off to number 10 who tries the near side. 35 is there to grab a hold of him and bring him down. Joe Ruiz. We do have a flag on the play. It's a holding on the offense. And we'll back him up. That'll be second down and 26 yards for the Bison. Twins to the right, single wide out to the left. Man in motion. Going to hand it off. No, quarterback keeper up the far side. Uh, yeah, the far side. Can Kenny catch him? Oh, just misses him, but there is a flag on the field. Blocking the back on the offense, and we're bringing that one back.
Great hustle by the defense. He, once he got past the line, they just couldn't track him down. They might have caught him if it weren't for the penalty, though, and that's why we have them. Back them up. Let's play fair. Brought a long run for the Dusters back a couple series ago, and now it's done the same to the Bison. Twins to the right, single wide out to the left. We've got an open backfield here in a shotgun formation. Sends 12 in motion, and we try for the same play, but Chockley stalls him initially. He breaks a couple tackles, but he's eventually brought down. Great job not giving up by the defense. Bison to the line, twins to the right, single wide out to the left, open backfield, shotgun formation, 12 comes in motion, quarterback keeper to the left side, and he's going to be chased down and tackled by Ruiz and Chockley. Great effort, boys. That'll be fourth down and about, oh, 17. For the Bison. That'll do it for the third quarter, folks. Great defensive stand going on by the Dusters. We'll switch end zones and see if we can keep this, uh, keep those bison wrangled in. Shut them down here and let's make a trip to the end zone. Appreciate our Lady Duster cheerleaders down here keeping that crowd fired up. Every little bit helps. Like Kenny will be back deep to receive for the Dusters. Bison are under center. They're going to go for it here. Nice pass to number 12, but he can't hang on. That's going to go out of bounds, and that is a turnover on downs. I don't see any flags on the field, so that should stand, and it should be Duster Ball. Twins to the left, single back set, shotgun snap, drops back to pass, but number nine is there. That'll be second down and long for the Dusters.
Twins out to the left. Kane rolls that way as well. He catches it. He's got room to run. Oh, he's tripped up from behind. And it's going to be third and five here after a great catch and go by Yemens to Kane. Got to get to that 45-yard line for a first down. Here come the Dusters. Twins out to the left. Since Kenny in motion. Quarterback keeps it around the nearest far side. Oh, he's going to be forced out of bounds, I think. Just shy of the first down. But we do have one more down here. We can try it again. They're going to say he was forced out of bounds at the 41. Timeout, Dusters. Coach Bowman, he's thinking. Five forty-eight to go here in the fourth. Duster's trail six to nothing. We got fourth down and four here. Got to get to that forty-five yard line. Twins to the right. Single back set, steps back to pass, goes for Chalkley over the middle, and Chalkley's just a dragging him along before he's eventually brought down. And that was the catch and go for the first down that we were looking for. That puts the ball on the 43-yard line of the Bison. First and 10. Let's go, Dusters. Shotgun snap. Looks to pass. Finds Kenny. Kenny's got some room. Finagles down just almost to that 35-yard line. Ball's roughly on the 36-yard line here. Second and four for the Dusters. Second and three, how about? Three yards. Let's keep this drive alive. Shotgun snap. 
Slips it to Kane out there on the flats. Oh, but he's met with a host of uh, Bison and shut down before he can get any yards gained. Third down and five here for the Dusters. Here they come. Twins out to the right. Single back set, shotgun formation. Snap to Kenny. He looks for the draw play and he takes it up the middle. Room to run and he gets all the way down to the 24 yard line. That's good. No penalties. That's good for a duster. First down and 10. First and 10 with 3.21 to go here in the fourth from the 24 yard line. That's pretty good field position. Just shy of making it into the red zone here. The Dusters will go back to work. Twins to the right, single back set and shotgun formation. Steps back to pass. Oh, he is short of Kybel that time. We'll stop the clock. Time management is a little bit of the essence here. Here come the Dusters. Twins to the right. Single back set. Shotgun formation. He sends Kenny in motion this time. He's going to hand it off to Kane. And Kane can't get away in time. Third down and 11. 2.47 to go. Clock is running. Kybel's wide out to the right with Kenny. Kane's a single back set. There goes Kenny in motion. Steps back to pass. Looking for Chalkley and Chalk. Oh, he can't hang on. In and out of the hands of number 88. He really stretched for it, but he defense was there and he couldn't hang on. Yemens to the huddle. Well, we have struggled with those shoelaces this evening, haven't we, folks? All right, dusters are ready. Twins to the right. Kane is your single back set. Yemens in the shotgun. Kenny in motion. Hands off to Kenny and he tries the left side and he is brought down just about the line of scrimmage. A whistle blows the clock dead. Turnover on downs. Two twenty left to go here in the fourth. 
And the bus, the bison will have first and 10 from their own 25. Play right up the middle, shut down by Trevor Chockley, number 88. Second down and six for the Bison. Quarterback under center, single back set, wide out to the left, and he's going to try it up the middle. And he's going to get nowhere. The gap was filled by Ruiz and Slatten on that uh, left side of the defense. Looks like a timeout has been taken. And the teams will come to the sidelines. Dusters have taken the field and they're ready to shut this down. Third down and seven for the Bison here. Looking at a minute 45 to go here. Oh no, he breaks it around the outside, but he is forced out of bounds there. That will be enough to move the chains. Here come the Bison, wide out to the left, single back set. The ball goes to the ground, and the Dusters are there to shut it down. Number 88, Trevor Jockley. Number 55, Remington Kane. It'll be second down and 14 for the Bison. That clock's are rolling. I was afraid game clock management would get to be a factor here at the bitter end. The dusters need to keep shutting them down. Ball's on the ground. Dusters are there. Stops it in the middle. I see Ruiz. And Remington Kane in on the stop.
Timeout has been called. The clock will stop. Fifty-seven and a half seconds to go here in the fourth, and that'll be the ball game. The Dusters have got to stop, get a takeaway, and look to the end zone for a chance to tie or win this ball game. Oh. The Dusters have taken the field and they are ready to play. So we've got a wide out to the left, single back set, quarterback under center. He hands it off to number 12. Dusters had a hand on him. Oh, he breaks the outside. And away he goes. He's in the end zone. I don't see any flags on the play. I think that one's going to stand. Bison set to attempt the extra point. Duster defense looking to decline that opportunity. Number 60, number 57 coming in. That'd be Stafford and Harris coming in to help the goal line defense. Get a defensive stop for the Dusters. Handed off to 12, who tries the far side, and he gets past the bear, breaks the plane, and gets two on the board. Forty-five seconds left to go in the ball game. Dusters now trail 14 to zero. There's the kick. There we go. Looking for up the middle, and he's brought down at the 37, 8, 9 yard line. Somewhere in there. <clears throat> Had a whole hoax of bison swarming him up on that return. Ball be placed on the 39-yard line. Duster's got first and 10. Just over 41 seconds to go in the ball game. It is manageable. It's not an easy road, but it's a manageable one. 
Going to have to find the out of bounds. Shut down the clock. Steps back to pass. Looks for Kane in the flats, and that one is almost picked away. Incomplete pass does stop the clock, so we got 37 seconds left to go in the ball game. Geibel wide out to the left. Kennedy's out there as well. Look for Kane in the flats. So he catches it. Almost picked away by number 45. That was considered a catch. Tackled at the ground, so the clock's still running. 15 seconds to go here. I believe they're just going to let time run off. And that'll be the ball game. Well, thanks for joining us, folks. This is the bye weeks.